Hey guys, Dinpo here. Welcome back to another Starfield video. In this video, I will show you why the Beowulf is the best weapon in Starfield, right? Now, one may argue is not the strongest. Hell, I'll even argue it's not the st in the top three or top four strongest weapons in the game. However, it is very good at one thing, and that's being a workhorse, right? This gun will put in the work for you. Also, very cheap to run. Ammo is very commonly found. So there's no reason why you should not be running this gun. Over here... I have a single shot one, right? I prefer a single shot because it does stack with a lot of my perks. Also, I have a scope on it, which does stack with my scopes. Um, it's not a god roll by any means. It does have some nice rolls on it, which is instigating hitman and skip shot. And it's got only four, four uh, mods here, right? But it's very important because it's got a suppressor. So it's getting um, damage boost from the scope, suppressor being single fire slash semi-automatic right so let's see how it performs as always the baseline here is on very hard difficulty as i said guys this is a very commonly found gun so you don't have to use cheats to get it it is widely widely available so very hard difficulty this is a level 75 system so very accurate range hits for a very very good amount here you can just hover or around targets and the the damage it does it's it's pretty good it'll one tap everything right except level 98 elites but we'll get to those in a second and we'll see how this performs against the toughest enemies in the game so that's a level 98 there so it shoots fairly quickly right fire rate is not a problem even a single fire it's got essentially no recoil there you can pick your shots quite easily. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to back away just so we can see how much sneak damage it does. So we're just going to kick back, go to chameleon mode and just shrug off the aggro there only because I want to see how far it can shoot and how much damage it can do, right? So there's an enemy there. Sneak attack, five times damage. Thanks for coming. See you later. Now, from memory, there was an elite here somewhere. Yep, he's right there. Perfect. Hopefully, I don't aggro doing this. The idea here is to essentially test out the stealth capabilities. Yep, perfect. Just gonna jump on this dome here. Okay, let's see if we can get that headshot. 6.4k damage. That is pretty solid, right? Pretty solid for an assault rifle. Yeah, let's just see what we got here. <laughs> we got another one. So, let's just compare them quickly, see which one is uh, better. So this has lacerate, which is really good, and double. So doubles the magazine there. It's got a uh, medium scope suppressor and a tactical magazine. Obviously, the legendary one is a little bit better. But you see, they're, they're very common. They, they drop all the time. There is no reason why you should not be spec for ballistics, right? It is the most common gun in the game. Guys, I'm going to do a, a, a guide, maybe my next video, or for those that start a you know, fresh game. Level 1 to 30, how to get all the best ships right away, how to become rich right away, right? No cheats, no exploits, straight out gameplay, right? But anyways, right now, we are here to test this beast of a gun. It is so good, so much fun to use as well. It's a fun gun, very strong gun. I think this is even better than assault rifles, because assault rifles, they, they, they semi-automatics, slow firing. <laughs> this is disgusting. This gun is absolutely disgusting, right? Like, essentially, the only skill you we're using here is instigating. Nothing else. And if you just want to spray, that also works too. Alright, now let's head downstairs. And say hello to our friends here. 
We want to leave the level 98 for last there. Oh, wow. Feels so good to shoot this gun. It's just such a good gun. So accurate, too. So the boss should be about there somewhere. Yeah, oh. Gotta be very careful here. <laughs> he did a backflip. Love it. All right, so just one, one more. Let's hip fire it. Even hip firing this thing is a, is a beast. So here's what we're gonna do, guys. I'm gonna quick save my game here. We're gonna do sneak attacks. See if we can one tap. Um, then we're gonna do normal attacks, and then in the end we're gonna try hip fire. Just test it out from all ra ranges, right, and all sort of situations. Okay, I'm just slowly here. Okay, we're just gonna chill out right about. Okay, so he's gone down. I'll try. Oh my god. Okay, let's just let's just do normal attack first. It melts. It absolutely melts. Wow, that's 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 really strong. Really, really strong. I mean, it's almost as hard as a um, uh, what's it called as as an inflictor almost. I do not see why this gun will not be able to one tap, uh, with stealth. Oh man, just get off my back already. Just very curious to see how it goes against level 98 elites here. Ooh, we might be able to sneak a headshot in there. We might. Alright, stuff it. Let's just test out the hip fire capability. Uh, you're better off scoping, so it does a lot more damage if it's scoped. That's where all the multipliers sort of come in. But um, we'll give we'll give stealth one more time. I'm confident this will one tap. Very very confident it will one tap. I'm gonna fly up here quickly. I'm gonna hop onto this on top of this flower. Okay. So will this count as a sneak damage if I attack now? It does. There you go. Holy moly. That hit for like 5,000 and like 7,000. This must have been the skip shot that hit him. That is insane. Let's hit him with a normal shot. It should still one tap, even though we're not using the skip shot. Wow. That's... So, a skip shot there. Okay. Cool. And jump on top of this thing again. Alright. Come on, come out. There should be only one. And he still got done for CS. So, 5,300. 5, Guys, if you got this gun, you do not need any other gun in the game. Very fun to use. Especially if you're um, uh, spec for sneaking, like I am here. It'll deliver. If you if you don't have the 5 times sneak damage, it'll still do well. But um, it, it will not do this well, right? Because... Instigating will still put in the work. So the fact that it does double damage targets full health. Hitman 15% damage while aiming is also very nice. And skip shot is just a cherry on top there. But you don't really need these stats. This gun, it is unbelievable just the way it is. You, you don't. You just there's, there's no reason. It's overkill. Everything above this point is just overkill, right? Anyways, as always. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I would assume this is a fan favorite weapon in Starfield. I know a lot of people swear by it, and rightfully so, as you can see. So I've only tested the um, the semi-automatic version. I will do another video, maybe, if there's demand for the uh, burst fire one or the fully automatic one. 
But I think right now, single fire is definitely king in the scenario. Look at that, there's just like no recall to it virtually. Insane. Reloads at a decent speed. It's a good looking template gun. Look, it's just an all rounder, right? It's a workhorse. It will definitely put in the work for you. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and I hope to catch you in the next video. Peace.